Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out the new Huda Beauty Brown Obsessions palette. So the one that I picked up is the caramel one. Huda Beauty came out with three different palettes a toffee one, a caramel one, and a chocolate one for this Brown Obsessions collection. So this is what this palette looks like. It's this gorgeous packaging and really nice and small compact palettes. Great if you had to take this palette on the go with you. And then on the top there is a small mirror and then nine eyeshadow shades and this is what the caramel palette looks like. And even though there are neutrals in here, I just feel like this palette looks like it's just like to the next level. I'm really excited to try this one out today, so let's get right into today's video. So I have my foundation and concealer on as always, so I'm just going to start out by priming my lids using a little bit of concealer. You can also use an eyeshadow primer. I will swatch a couple of the shades for you guys today because I want to see how pigmented these shades are. So first I'm going to go out, go into this shimmery shade right here. And it's just like this really gorgeous eyeshadow color. Like, look at that. This is what it looks like. It's just like a light shimmery shade. I really like the way that this one down here looks. So I'm going to swatch that one. Oh my goodness, that's so, so pigmented. It literally looks like such a perfect caramel color. Then, of course, I'm going to swatch this gold shade right in the middle. And look at how pigmented that shade is. I am going to start out in this neutral matte shade right here on a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to place that on my outer corners and drag that also along my crease. I kind of want to create like a very sharp and defined outer edge today. So I'm going to use a small angled brush and I'm going into the darkest shade in the palette here. And I'm just going to use this shade and wing it out on the outer corner of my eye. And slightly drag that shade inwards. You could definitely also use tape to create this eye look. You don't have to use an angled brush if you did that. You could just use a smaller eyeshadow brush and blend it against the edge of the tape and then at the end peel the tape off and it'll look super sharp. But I already have my foundation everything laid down so I'm just going to use the brush today. And if it's not super perfect the first time out, it's okay. We're going to go in and clean it up with concealer once we're done with the eyes. I am going to go into this brown shade right here on a Morphe M441 brush. I'm just going to blend that at an angle into the brown. And I'm also just avoiding going over the line on the outer corner. I'm using a Morphe M456 brush and I'm going into the same eyeshadow shade that we just were using and I'm just using this brush instead so we can get a little bit more of a precise application and going back into that really deep brown shade I am using the same smaller eyeshadow brush and just blending that out at an angle it will help to really deepen up that outer corner and make the eye look a little bit more smoky And as you guys can see, I am blending that shade down to about the middle point on my upper lash line. Now using a flatter eyeshadow brush, I am going to go into this shade in the upper left hand corner here. I'm just going to place this towards my lash line and my inner corner. Not on my inner corner, just on the inner part of my lid. This is really gorgeous light shimmer. And once that shade is laid down, I'm going to use my finger and go into that shimmery shade on the lower left corner of the palette, which is this gorgeous gold metallic shade. And I'm just going to tap that right on the center of the lid and tap it in the direction of the way we blend it out, all those matte shadows. So kind of like that at like an angle. It just helps it look more soft rather than packing it on. And I'm going in with another Morphe eyeshadow brush and using this shade right in the center here, which is just a lighter neutral shade. And I am just placing that right on that one little spot where we didn't really apply too much shadow. And it just kind of helps to fill it in. And going in with this upper left hand corner shade and just tapping that over top where we applied that same shade earlier, but it's just by using our finger, we're going to get 
a little bit better of a pigmentation. And now I'm going in with my concealer on a flat concealer brush and I'm just going to clean up that edge like I said we would do earlier. Using a really small eyeshadow brush, I'm going to apply some shadow to my lower lash line. So I'm going to mix the two darker brown shades. Just drag that across. I'm going back in with our angled eyeshadow brush. I'm using the super dark brown shade. I'm going to add a wing on the inner corner of my eye. Just like that, it just kind of adds a little bit more of a cat eye effect. So now I am going to apply some lashes. So the lashes I am using today are from KISS. Now this part is optional, but I am going to add some black liner to my waterline. I just feel like for me that like completes every eye look. Then I am just going to finish off the eyes by applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. And now I'm going to finish up the rest of my face makeup. So I'm going to be using my Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer and just bronzing my face up. Once that is all applied, I am going in with some translucent powder on a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to bake my face and clean up all of my contour. While that all sets for a little bit, I am going to use my Kylie Cosmetics Stormy Blush. It is in the shade Flutter in Love. It looks like this. I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks and the tip of my nose. And then using a fluffier powder brush, I'm just dusting all of that translucent powder off. For my highlighter today, I'm using my Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collection highlighter in the shade True Mama. I'm just going to place this on the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and my cheekbones. I'm also applying a little bit of highlighter to my brow bone, and I'm going in with my Beauty Blender and just tapping all that highlighter out. And now that the face is done, I am going to go in with my NYX lip pencil and just line my lips. And to top that off, I'm using the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Lip Gloss, and this one is in the shade Naked Cherry. And I'm just going to place this right over top. And this is the finished look. So I absolutely love this palette. I literally think the shades in here are so perfect. And as you guys can see on this eye look, everything blends it out beautifully. Every single one of the shades in this palette are so, so pigmented. And I am absolutely in love with this palette. I will definitely be using this one a lot. I just love how you can make like a super bold eye look kind of like this, make it really smoky, or you can definitely keep it more neutral just by using some of the lighter shades in this palette. So I really liked this one and I would love to try other ones from the Brown Obsessions collection. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell button to turn on your post notifications so you're notified when I upload a new video and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!